The Umbrella Academy Season 4 Everything We Know With Season 3 of The Umbrella Academy closing off with many things left open and to be built upon, I thought it would be worth taking a look at all that's out there about Season 4 of the show and giving my theories and predictions on what I think is going to happen next. So let's get into it. Here is The Umbrella Academy Season 4 Everything We Know. Just to let you know, this video will contain spoilers. The Release Date In terms of a release date for Season 4 of the show, Netflix haven't announced if a new season has been commissioned yet. However, they tend to wait a couple of weeks to a month before deciding on if the show is going to be given the green light to continue. Considering that The Umbrella Academy is not only a fan favorite, but just jumped to number one in the Netflix charts, and with the ending being written in a way that allowed it to be picked up again, I think it's safe to assume that we'll definitely be getting a season four of the show. With that being said, if we take a look at previous release times, it doesn't give us the most appropriate time frame, due to there being a year between season one and two, and then two years between season two and three. But now I think the show will look to follow the traditional release time structure of other shows on the platform, and will likely release season four around the same time, summertime next year in 2023. I don't think they'll want to keep us waiting as long as they did last time. The Story Season 3 of the show finished up in a way that left a lot to be continued on in Season 4, with the universe essentially being reset following Hargreaves completing Project Oblivion, the Academy landed in the location of where Hotel Obsidian or Oblivion, depending on what side you were on was, and were in a world where they were now powerless. Luther was without Sloane, Hargreaves was running an empire in the city, and Ben was on a train in Korea. So let's break down the different stories that we could potentially see. The group hunting for their powers. With not a single member of the Academy who landed in the location of Hotel Oblivion having their powers, and the closing statement being that they can now just go on and live their lives, I think they're likely going to be meeting with Hargreaves to find out what is going on and why they don't have their powers. Then I believe they'll seek out the very thing that gave them their powers with the intention of trying to get them back. We were shown the floating gold dust in this season, so the group could seek out to find this to enable them to get their powers back. Each season has always centered around time, so we could also see them branching off into a form of space or time. With the aid of Hargreaves technology, I think they'll soon realize that life isn't going to be that enjoyable without their powers. Especially in a world that looks like Hargreaves is leading from the top of his skyscraper. Hargreaves could potentially become the main villain in the Umbrella Academy Season 4, but that's something we'll have to see. We know that Hargreaves is an alien, and the rest of the group now know this too, so I'm hoping that this backstory is something that will be explored more, as we haven't had much about it. Sloane's Location A separate story that I imagine we'll see going on is Luther's hunt for Sloane. Sloan was one of the two surviving members of the Sparrow Academy, but when the Umbrella Academy returned to this new universe, Sloan wasn't there. I feel we're going to see Luther go on a hunt to find his new wife that he married on Doomsday. I think there are a couple of different options on what could happen there. I think either she didn't spawn into the new universe due to the fact that it was an Umbrella timeline that Reginald was creating, and the only reason that Ben was able to appear was due to the fact that he was in both of them under Hargreaves. This could mean that Sloane is out there but living a completely different life and wouldn't even be aware of Luther. Or an alternative thought could be, as Luther was brought back from the dead, Reginald could have had it so that she would need to take his place. A life for a life. Or one final theory could be that she's on the moon. We saw her interest in the moon whenever Luther would speak about it. And with Abigail Hargreaves now back on planet Earth, Reginald could have Sloane in her wedding dress stored on the moon, just like Abigail was. This way Luther would understand Hargreaves' pain of losing a loved one. I'm intrigued to see what's going to go down with Luther and Sloane, when her location does eventually get revealed. Allison's Timeline Allison spawned into the universe in a completely different location to the others. She was in Los Angeles and she was finally reunited with her daughter Claire, along with her husband Raymond, who have appeared to have been brought forward in time. I believe this is what was part of the deal that was cut with Hargreaves prior to all of the events unfolding. It was to be that when he built his universe, she would be able to be with Claire and Raymond, which we saw him carry out. There was one thing that was different with Allison's return when compared to the others. Whilst all of the others appeared to be fully healed and had their powers drained, 
Alison was still fresh from battle with the wound on her arm. Although we didn't get to see her use her powers, I would assume that she still has her powers as none of her particles were drained in any way whatsoever. With Alison being the only person that appears to have powers in this newfound universe, but isolated from others, it will be interesting to see her navigate around with that, especially seeing as though she's far more powerful than she's ever been. Ben's Timeline There was one final revelation that occurred in the closing moments of the episode, and that was around Ben. We saw a mid credit scene of Ben sitting on the very train that he was born on in 1989, and we saw him look up in thought and then smile as the announcer stated that they would be arriving at the destination. I think it's clear to see that this is not the Sparrow Academy version of Ben, due to the visual appearance, the hairstyle, and also the mannerisms and expressions that this one evoked. This could mean that there are now two Bens in this universe, which is something that may not have been taken into consideration. Hargreaves brought back the Umbrella Academy, and we know he can bring people back from the dead, as Luther was now amongst the others, so this in turn could have caused the original Umbrella Academy Ben to be brought back to life. He may have spawned once the group had left the area in the final shot of the show, and then went down the elevator that stated to Underground, which led him to the Underground Station. Regardless of how he got there, I think he'll be going off to find his real parents, and form some kind of relationship with them. We don't know if he's got powers, or if he's even still aware of the group, but I imagine Ben's role is going to be significant in the show. Considering that the season opened with his birth and closed with him in the location where he was born. The cast. With there being major deaths in the show, you'd expect there to be some characters that wouldn't be returning. However, with Luther being able to be brought back from the dead, that's one character that will now get a second chance. So I think it's safe to say that we'll see Luther, Diego, Allison, Number 5, Ben, Klaus, and Victor all return from the Umbrella Academy, along with Lila. And I hope that we'll see Sloane return based on the theories on the story for Season 4. We will likely also see Sir Reginald Hargreaves return, along with his wife Abigail Hargreaves, who he appeared to have brought back from the dead. I also think Pogo will find a way of being able to return in the show too. He was a loyal companion of Sir Reginald, and I'm sure he'll find a way to enable him to be by his side in the new universe. Unfortunately for now, that's all that's known about Season 4 of The Umbrella Academy. I'm sure more information will be released as time goes on, and more theories will definitely get thought about. If you want to see more videos on The Umbrella Academy, such as Season 3 ending explained, or theories and predictions, or even character breakdowns, then click on the i button. Or alternatively, you can go over to my channel where you'll find them all. If you want me to review something specific, then head over to my Twitter, at BrainPilot underscore, and tweet me what show or movie you'd like me to review next. And finally, if you want to see what I rate movies that don't quite make the cut to getting a dedicated video, then head over to my Letterboxd profile. It's where I rate the latest releases in real time. What do you think will happen in Season 4? Leave a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time.